Good morning and welcome. You want to find your seats, just a very informal time of celebration. But I welcome you to this place in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And today we gather to celebrate the sacrament of baptism. Genesis 17, 7 says, I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout their generations. For an everlasting covenant, I will be God to you and to your offspring after you. We believe that it is God himself who initiates this divine grace. He loves to shower us with his grace. He longs to show us the affections of his heart to be in relationship with us. And baptism is a public affirmation of accepting this gift. So parents, we are grateful that you are here accepting this gift on behalf of your children today. A couple of word pictures um, around, around baptism that, as I was preparing, came to me. My grandfather passed away recently, and he had required 24-7 health care. And one of his caregivers had sh shared with me a couple of stories. Um, you know, as the funeral and visitation happens, you get to hear, hear all kinds of stories. And one of, the, one of the stories that she shared with me was Good Friday. Um, my, my kids and some of their cousins were down at grandpa's, grandpa's house. And one of my kids came and just put... Uh, their head on grandpa's chest, just put the ear right, just put his ear right up to grandpa's heart and just laid there until both grandpa and my son just kind of lit up and had, uh, yeah, just had a moment of joy and um, closeness together. And then later, later in that um, same, same day, some of the girls and, and my daughter uh, would come to grandpa and grandpa would uh, the caregiver said, Grandpa would just take their hand and just reach for it and just say, and just stroke their hand and just say, you are so important. You are so special. I love you so much. And that's, thanks for being a, a guinea pig there. But that is a couple of pictures of what we know happens uh, in a mysterious way here at the baptismal font. We have a God in heaven who says, just come to me. I love to pour my affection, my joy, my delight out to you. Are you worried? Are you anxious? Come, just put your ear on my chest. Just put your ear on my heart and let yourself fill up with my love for you and for this world. John, 12, John 1, 12, 13 says, But to all who receive him, who believe in his name, he gave power to become children of God, not born of blood or of the will of flesh, but of God himself. And that's who we are. We are children of that promise. Our third church family is in a series right now on blessing. And just like... Uh, just like Grandpa blessed those girls on Good Friday, we want you to know, parents and your infant children, what a blessing you are to this third church family. You are important to us. You are special. And we are excited to partner with you in all the ways that the Lord is going to be working uh, through, through your life. So we are here for you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you this morning. We praise you for who you are. You are a God of love and of compassion, of tender mercy, whose affection is for your children. We pray that we would just continue to um, be able to know you and experience more and more of you and your kingdom. We thank you for the gift of baptism. We thank you for the promises over each of these children's lives. We pray these things in Jesus' name and all of God's children said, amen. So Jesus, we welcome you 
in this place. Holy Spirit, would you just come and just rest upon us here today? Continue to empower us, continue to guide us, continue to mold us into the likeness of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, amen. You may be seated. Baptism is the sign and seal of God's promises to his covenant people. In baptism, God promises by grace alone to forgive our sins, to adopt us into the body of Christ, the church, to send the Holy Spirit daily to renew and cleanse us, and to resurrect us to eternal life. This promise is made visible in the waters of baptism. Waters cleanse, purify, refresh, sustain. Jesus Christ himself is the living water. Through baptism, Christ calls us to new obedience, to love and trust God completely, to forsake the evil of the world, and to live a new and holy life. Yet when we fall into sin, we do not need to despair of God's mercy, nor continue to sin. For baptism is a sign and seal of God's eternal covenant of grace with us. Parents, at this time, I would ask you to stand, and we will affirm your intentions of baptism. Beloved of God, you stand before us, having brought these children to receive the sacrament of baptism. I ask you, therefore, before God and Christ's church, to reject evil, profess your faith in Jesus Christ, to confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce sin and the power of evil in your life and in the world? If so, say, I do. Who is your Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Yep. Very good. Do you promise to instruct these children in the truth of God's word, in the way of salvation through Jesus Christ, to pray for them, to teach them to pray, and to train them in Christ's way by your example, through worship and in the nurture of the church? If so, say, I do, and I ask God to help me. Thank you. Would the rest of you gathered here also stand? Do you promise to love, encourage, and support these brothers and sisters by teaching the gospel of God's love, by being an example of Christian faith and character, and by giving the strong support of God's family in fellowship, prayer, and service? If so, answer, we do. Amen. You may be seated. And at this time, we have four infants that we get to baptize today. Emily was not able uh, to to join us today, but I would like to invite Jason and Katie DeBauer to the stage. And one of the things that uh, I will often share with, um, with the infant baptism class is now that I have teenage children, uh, I think that maybe um, arranged marriages aren't such a bad idea um, after all. And that's a little bit about what we're doing here at the baptismal font is we're saying as parents, you can see your Abba, your heavenly father, and you desire for your child to be joined with him. So it's a little bit of like a promise. um, And then at a certain time, we believe that they'll be... um, They'll take off the promise ring, and when the spirit is ready, we'll equip uh, saving faith and put on more of the engagement engagement ring. So we are excited to welcome Cecilia Louise to our third church family. Would you introduce her to those gathered here? Yeah, this is Cecilia Louise. She's going to be about four months here. Um, I guess our hope for her is that with Uh, the help of our family and everybody at Third Church that she grows up to be loving and respectful and that you can all help us uh, instill the morals and beliefs that we think are important for her. So thank you. Awesome. Awesome. So Cecilia Louise, for you, Jesus Christ came into this world. For you, he died and he conquered death. 
All of this he did for you, little one, though you know nothing of it yet. We love because God first loved us. Yes. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. <laughs> it's gotten cold. And of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> child of the covenant through baptisms. One of the meanings of Cecilia is blind, and the meaning of Luis, a famous warrior. We pray that you will always be blind to the message of the world's gospel and will continue to grow to become a famous warrior for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ forever. Amen. Introduce her. Hello, sweethearts. Hello. <laughs> Would you welcome Cecilia Louise? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that beautiful. Yeah. At this time, we'd like to invite Brandon and Courtney Grunendike to the stage. <laughs> Good morning. We are excited to welcome Jade Maya? Yeah. Mia. Jade Mia to the Third Church family. Would you introduce her? Uh, this is Jade Mia. She's right at three months and just brings us a lot of joy, a lot of good, fun smiles, and just enjoying her all we can. Yeah, that's great. Well, welcome, Jade. Jade, for you, Jesus Christ came into this world. For you, he died, and he conquered death. All of this he did for you, little one, though you know nothing of it yet. We love because Christ first loved us. Jade, I baptize you in the name of the Father. And of the sun, <laughs> and of the Holy Spirit. Child of the covenant through baptism, you are truly a precious gem and a priceless daughter. May the joy and the contentment of the Lord continue to be with you. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. I hope Amen, yeah. Oh, sweetie. Would you welcome Jade to the Third Church family? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite Tyler and Molly Grunendike to the stage. And we are excited to welcome Jackson Lee. Could you introduce him to those of us gathered here? Uh, Jackson Lee Grunendike, he's about nine weeks old. Mm -hmm. um, Normally, we just call him Jax, which means God is gracious. So um, we hope that as he grows up, he can find what God's purpose for his life is and that uh, he will be willing to do whatever that is and fulfill what God has planned for him. Mm, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Jackson Lee, for you, Jesus Christ came into the world. For you, he died and he conquered death. All of this he did for you, little one though you know nothing of it yet. We love because God first loved us. Jackson Lee, I baptize you in the name of the Father <laughs> and the Son and the Holy Spirit. There you go. I'll get that for you. There, boop. Child of the covenant through baptism, you are a gift from God. 
We bless you with knowing his graciousness, his love, and the admiration that he has towards you all the days of your life. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked by Christ's own forever. Amen. Amen. Can I hold it? Welcome Jackson Lee into the Third Church family. Go to this side. This time, I'd like to invite Austin and Chelsea Stainhook to the stage. And we are excited to welcome Caden Lee to the Third Church family. Would you introduce him to us? Yeah, this is Caden Lee. He's seven, seven and a half months old. Uh, he's a pretty friendly little guy. Uh, he gets really excited when he's mad and when he's happy and... <laughs> Uh, a lot of emotion from this little one and a lot of drool. So, um, yeah, we just pray that he grows up to be a good friend um, to the people around him and uh, is a good role model for um, other kids around him. So, yeah, we want good things for him for sure. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Oh, rubbing the eye just a little bit. <laughs> So, Caden Lee, for you, Jesus Christ came into this world. For you, he died and conquered death. All of this he did for you, little one, though you know nothing of it yet. We love because God first loved us. I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit child of the covenant through baptism. We love the way that your parents knew your name and have seen those characteristics of already being a battler and a companion, both. We bless the ways you will be a warrior in the kingdom of God and a companion to the family of God. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked by Christ's own forever. Amen. <laughs> Can I introduce you? There. Yeah, there's your cousin. Yeah. Welcome, Kate and Lee. <laughs> He's checking it all out. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. At this time, if you could, we're going to shuffle a little bit. If you could gather around those that you uh, came here to support, we're just going to pray a prayer of blessing. And um, yeah, so we'll give a little bit of time for transition so Austin and Chelsea can make it um, and want to be able to pray that prayer of blessing over these precious, precious little ones. So gather around, and if you're comfortable putting your hand on them or extending a hand towards them, that would be great. And your family's going to circle up around you, Austin and Chelsea, just so you know. <laughs> I'll direct us for a little bit and then um, you, can, you can pray as well. So, oh gracious God, we just thank you for um, each of these children's journey, we thank you for the ways in which you have, have knit them together and the plans and the hopes that you have for each one of them. We pray that your Holy Spirit would continue to guide each of the parents here today and that they, um, their homes would just be flooded with your love, your joy, and your light. 
And now families, if you could just pray a blessing or a thanksgiving um, out loud over, over these children as you uh, lay your hands on them. Take a minute or two to pray over them. And so Father, joyfully we celebrate uh, the promises that you have laid on each of the parents and grandparents' heart. We recognize that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and um, we just celebrate that we serve such an awesome God. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. And would you uh, just stay right where you're at, and we're going to close with the doxology here this morning together. Would you guys sing with me? And praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son. So may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. That concludes our service today. Thanks for coming.